Yo, what's good, everybody? It's your boy, Hayes, the man of the motherfucking now. Welcome back to h and Reaction. Um, I actually got recommended a, um, a video, man. So, shout out to Blazing Runner Sema or Porno. Sema, I believe. I think his name was Blazing Runner Sema for Porno. Shout out to you. Um, also, thank you for recommending this um, anime. I actually, before I went into um, watching it or whatever, um, I haven't watched it yet. While I'm making this intro. I haven't watched it yet, but before I watched it, I wanted to know what I was getting myself into. So I looked at the anime um, on Google. They said it was a game or whatever, and I was like, what? A game? And then I decided to go back on YouTube and look up Pretty Cure. And it was also called Pre Cure. And I looked up the, I want to say the first eight minutes of the first episode. And bro, it almost drew me in. Like, um, now I want to know if this the, um, if this the actual show. Um, there was a robot. Um, or an alien figure. She was a giant humanoid type thing. Um, she was half naked and she was tossing around ships. I was like, God damn, motherfucker tossing around ships. And um, like all these robots or whatever, people inside like tanks, I want to say. Inside the robotic tanks, I want to say, um, flying out, uh, out all these planes going to war, war with, I'm guessing it's an alien, and they lost. So they showed these little middle school, high school um, characters or whatever. I think they the pretty cure. No, I'm, I'm not sure, I ain't watched the full episode, but they attacked it, one um, wrapped up and like, wrapped the alien figure up in like um, some rope or whatever, and somebody shot this, Laser thing, I don't know, man. Um, it drew me in, bro. So I hope that's the episode, bro. That shit was, that shit was fine. Um, just the eight minutes old. I was like, bro, once I do this, I'm, I'm gonna go watch, I'm gonna watch, I'm gonna watch that motherfucker. But anyways, bro, I don't know nothing about this. Um, this is my first time hearing this, so I want to say thank you for even recommending this, bro. I don't want to keep y'all hope. Help. Let's begin this video. Takashi Oshio, when he knows that both boys and girls dream of saving the world when they're young. With this in mind, Pretty Cure became a physical combat match girl show, and it was this aspect, along with being a great show, that took what was originally supposed to be a 26 episode series and turned it into an ongoing multi billion dollar franchise. I thought mm. I should honor that aspect of the franchise and pass also, it to Pretty man, Cure. Um, I think there are a few things to get out of it before I actually start Bandai scan. Namco or First something, of all, and what Toy is Animation has something to do with this? Well, you can probably tell from the title of the video, but it's about determining the strength, speed, and abilities of characters. The abilities would be mostly ones that pertain to combat, and strength is usually expressed as attack potency. To get what I mean when I say attack potency, imagine there's a guy who takes a nuke to the face and it doesn't even scratch him. Then you come up to that guy and one-shot him. That means your punch is more powerful than a nuke despite the fact that you didn't cause a nuke-sized explosion. Yo, also, Power scaling um, can also just be used to rank in-universe without the need to say exactly I'm how strong or fast the this video is. And then, um, to keep it pretty cure related, it I don't need to know what tier strength the video tier uses in order long, to know like that she was the strongest speed here for most of the series. If you want more so examples I'm of power scaling, I recommend watching what I'm gonna do the is I'm gonna split the video up in two parts. So. Who got me into power scaling. Probably pretty one part drop today, one to part drop tomorrow. At least for the um, physical attacks, and power increases tend to boost AP and speed by the same amount. Or I, this I can might be seen by the fact that today. usually the opponent who is overwhelmingly stronger than the cures is also faster than them. There are also power-ups, notably the two I'll talk about later, that flat out say both strength and speed were increased. There are a few exceptions to that, such as the Red Heart Seed from Heartcatch only providing a speed boost, and a boost in Doki Doki, which I will mention further into the video. The other order of business is which team am I going to cover? I mean, there are over 55 cures, and going over each of them would take forever. 
To keep things simple, I'll primarily 55. go reverse with figures, black and white, but we'll also cover Shiny Luminous. Who joins the two in Yo, the from the first episode, the two of them are like referred to as the Max Art team. Anime, bro. I ain't look I'll also give some of the scaling for the All-Stars movies, which is like really scaling together so. here. For those unfamiliar with the franchise, the All-Star films are the crossover films to the different Pretty Cure teams. The Max Art Cures are usually portrayed and as the strongest I wonder team, if though even if you don't going, believe that, like, the main take uh, is that they do skill to um, the other teams, no, and set teams are that. usually skilled up in power for these films. An example of being scaled up is that the Hardcatch team were around planet level, give or take, in their own series, but then they are portrayed as being above the Maho Man, girls, this look, who were able to I'm easily deal you, bro, with a being who had the power bro, of the sun. That was the, Lastly, the anime, some of the topics bro, I'll bring up here require a it lot almost of pulled explanation. Me in and For the sake of not making almost the video longer about than it needs um, to be, I'll link the full explanation of three video. of these topics in the description, like, while providing simple ones in the video. With all that said about out of the way, Let's get on with it. I was like, I don't wanna, According um, to the Pretty Cure Encyclopedia Volume was, 1, becoming Pretty Cure grants like, the girls dozens of times the power of a normal so. human. Well, I'm gonna react to the that's video pretty straightforward. First, then I'll go and watch. Thank you so much for watching. Anime. I know sure it's like, comment, and her, subscribe. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's it. not the end of it. I said I was gonna react girls to are it. clearly above that's dozens of I'm times the strength of a normal person, though to be fair, it never specifies how many dozens that increase is. It's kinda like Superman's faster than a speeding bullet saying. It's not wrong, but it doesn't fully encompass what they can do. Nagisa and Honoka are Cure Black and Cure White, respectively. Unlike most other Cure teams, they need to be together in order to transform. They also need to be together in order to use any of their special attacks. That being said, they are strong by themselves and can enhance their own punches slash kicks. Being apart will not weaken them, and neither will them arguing. In fact, the first time they had a fight, they actually made a stronger attack. I don't that being said, no Nagisa no, uh, did say they were stronger once they actually became friends. That Japanese song, My point is that their powers like, aren't that affected by emotions, I'm as seen in the second Max Art movie where their argument didn't video. make them weaker, it just messed up their teamwork. So whether they again, be strangers in a fight, in or lovers, their powers wouldn't right vary that much. If I do. Together they can make barriers, though based on other cures and things that happen in All-Stars, they can likely make smaller barriers individually. They can breathe in space, punch non-corporeal beings like when they hit Cage, who was an actual shadow, and have natural healing. One aspect that future series introduced was that if a cure took enough damage, she would demorph. That doesn't seem to be the case for Black and White, considering some of the beatings they've taken, one of the more notable ones being when they fought the Dark Witch. They can also move in frozen time and to multiple levels. What I mean is, the Splash Star cures were shown to be able to move around freely in frozen time, even when untransformed. Then, in Hugtoe, they were frozen in time, and it was only when they transformed that they could move around. So yeah, all Pretty Cure can yeah. move around when time has stopped. Neat. Okay. They should also yeah, have absorption resistance ability. going off uh -huh. of the Fresh Cures and Cure Echo. Both the Fresh Cures and Cure Echo were able to resist being absorbed by fusion. Very notable in Cure Echo's case, as we saw how fast that absorption could be. On to their special attacks. Their main attack in the original series is the Marble Screw. They come together to create a beam with power exceeding any other physical attacks. How much stronger is unknown, however, as black and white are equals and this is a combination of their powers, you could say it's two times stronger, but that is just speculation. Next is Rainbow Therapy, which isn't really an attack as it purifies possessed people. After that is the Rainbow Storm, a beam attack far stronger than the Marble Screw that they use when they wear the rainbow bracelets. Once they got their powers back in Max Heart, they came back stronger than ever, and the Marble Screw was upgraded to the Marble Screw Max. Using the Sparkle bracelets, they can produce an even stronger attack with the Marble Screw Max Sparkle. With their new teammate, Shiny Luminous, they can do the Extreme Luminario and the Extreme Luminario Sparkle. Speaking of Luminous, let's go over her. As the Dark King was about to die for the second this time, he let out one last attack shit. to mortally wound the Queen of Light. With some power to prevent her death, she split her life into different I beings, one of which is Hikari Kucho. With Paron, she becomes Shiny Luminous. As you can tell by her name, she isn't actually I'm pretty sure that was made though is treated as one retroactively. I mean, not women, She's on par yeah. with base black and white, and was possibly so, more powerful <laughs> than them at girls, first, considering man. she moved so fast they thought she disappeared. People sometimes think she's weak, but this isn't actually true, and more so due to her nature about not fighting, though she will fight if she needs to, such as when she kicked the Sakenna. She has the powers of the Queen of Light, meaning she has the power of light and can heal people. But she was the first pretty cure member to have barriers be her specialty, that was the providing first her much more defense than black and white ever did. She also and has her attack, the, the Heart Teal Action. This paralyzes opponents, leaving them open to further attacks. 
It is possible that it actually does damage to much weaker opponents, as it did seem to defeat many cages in New Stage 2, though it is possible that was a special case with it being a shadow against an attack powered by the power of light. With Poron's sister Lilun, Luminous is amped by the power to create and can use the heart deal brooch to create stronger barriers. That is the Max Heart Cures. The Cures also have power-ups. I'll be focusing on the ones that they have easy access to rather than the situational ones. To get those out of the way, Gold Forms powered them up, Phoenix Form was far superior to Sparkle Bracelets, no, they got and the Rainbow stuff. Form is far superior to that. Their original power-up was the Rainbow Bracelets, and their second, which they still have to this day, are the Sparkle Bracelets. Both enhance speed and strength considerably. The Rainbow Bracelets gave them the power of light, and the Sparkle Bracelets gave them the power to create. The Sparkle Bracelets are superior to the Rainbow Bracelets, and this can be determined for reasoning. Poron was the one who granted the cures the Rainbow Bracelets, and even then, he didn't put all his power into it until the final battle against the Dark King. In Max Heart, he got stronger, and yet when they faced off against Baldas, Poron granting them the power of the Rainbow Bracelets, which he should still be able to do, was never even considered, and instead they sought out the Sparkle Bracelets. You could even consider the Extreme Luminario to be stronger than a full power Rainbow Storm, as it had the additional power of light that Hikari provides. In which case, that is more proof of the Sparkle Bracelets being grander than the Rainbow Bracelets, as the Sparkle Bracelet cures scale above the Extreme Luminario. But how much does it power them up by? Nagisa does make a statement about it giving them 100 times the energy, but this is followed up by her saying a nonsense number, so it's not exactly the most reliable of statements. This requires more of a breakdown. Back in the original series, the Cures faced the Three Shades of Darkness. My dad has like the the power than the Cures, and the Prism Stones shit, get massively like... stronger, and then proceeded to fuse together but into a way being known as Majin. The, power the Seeds were about the same in yeah, power, yeah, so that would yeah. be at bare minimum a three times way multiplier. OP, like, but fusions and fiction strong. tend to produce a being far greater than the sum of its parts. Pretty Cure is no exception, Apparently, as while there was that one case where it was because, simple addition, um, we also they have infinity damage and all that, but the fusion of the four heart catch cures, damage whose power too, was so far above yeah, what's completely the cures well, were granted. Time. The cures so with the go rainbow go bracelets beat up this fusion, so. then they got Poron's full power to beat the enhanced Dark King. Good as shit! Dark bracelets should be superior to an even stronger version of the full power rainbow bracelets. Yeah, sparkle bracelets are very powerful, and that 100 times statement is actually looking like it might be a bit of downplay now, huh? The cures certainly do not lack when it comes to speed. In fact, despite being I'm already, of light, light is pretty much an animal for them watch a couple yes, of fictional characters bro. can move above the speed of light. They aren't limited I'm like that. For some context as to how fast the speed of light is, light can travel around the earth seven and a half times in one second. Anyway, now let's look at some of the light feats that the franchise has. The yeah, second cure about the same faster than a camera flash, Probably while the heart can check cure marine, intercepting a camera flash, and cure blossom dodging the flame. Watching, um, Maho girls has their diamond eternal attack launching with enemies into the depths of them. space in seconds, and their eternal rainbow attack, which was able to send a Desmos flying into another galaxy in 26 seconds. Assuming this galaxy was the Andronima galaxy, which is the closest galaxy to our own, then the attack would be moving at over three trillion times the speed of light. I also want to quickly mention a speed peek from the Maho Girls manga. The yeah. manga is super kind of news from the anime, so it won't be used in a scale, but I thought it would be nice to bring up. In the manga, Liko, and yes, it's Liko and not Riko, uses magic to move the stars Liko. in order to ask Mirai on a Liko. date, to or which Riko, Mirai like answers Liko. the same way. This is a powerful feat, but let's focus on the speed. Liko moved 44 stars, and we see from Mirai's Riko? answer that the stars moved in the same panel okay, as she Riko. cast a spell. Okay. Using the average speaking rate and my own test, Liko's spell would have taken about four seconds to say. Assuming so they were Rico the closest four black stars hair, to Earth, might, uh, not count the as black them, obviously. Hair, right? uh, then the magic would be going nearly 106 million times the speed of light just to reach the last star, let alone moving them. Star Twinkle has the curious <sighs> matchup against Arborn's spaceship mech and face many spaceships in the Star Twinkle solo film. That would mean they would have comparable cool. speeds in their base, let alone Twinkle Imagination and Twinkle Style. Yes, I know they use Twinkle Style in the like movie, and the Iron thing, Fight shows that their bases Ziba. are comparable no, in Goku speed to spaceships. And hour. yes, the ships are fast. Um, it's not just them warping the distances. Like, it was specifically mentioned only Kua and Darkness have warping to use the capabilities that grant, meaning um, the ships are the physically Kameha traveling most of these shoots, distances. To, um, so how fast are these ships? Well, it just, is mentioned they can travel to the to sun, galaxies, so and more relevant is that Earth is mentioned as being at the edge of the universe by law. The star like, sky galaxy is where the star the palaces, to shoot which is where to the star princesses reside. It's it is there they create the universe, you have so it can be seen as the center of the universe. 
Ships travel from the She's stars knocking galaxy someone to Earth in what galaxy. seems to be under a day. This would result in He's speeds only in tens of trillions of times the speed of light. That's All the speeds I just mentioned would be upscaled when put into the old as the even cures who do not have okay. any faster than sun speeds can keep up with and are faster than some of these cures. It's the same as the power example I mentioned Earth before. To so galaxy. black and white scale to that and that's so it. Shooting someone not quite as they have the best speed to another galaxy is Before he dies for the first time, the Dark is... launches the seeds of darkness from the Dark Zone to Earth that's in a matter of seconds. Far. He does a similar feat as he is dying for a second time and launches an attack from Earth to the Garden of Light. So, how far are these locations from Earth? We don't know exactly, but we can get a pretty good idea. They should be around equal distances from the Earth due to light and dark being two sides of the same coin, as it were. On the official toy website for Futarawa Pretty Cure, the character profiles for both Meeple and Meeple refer to the Garden of Light as being in another dimension. The specific word used in Japanese is Jigen, okay, I'm gonna stop at which, six, by looking at other properties like Tenshimuya and Neptunia, is referring to the universe. First, this is from the official toy website and no other official material specifies the location of either the Dark Zone or the Garden of Light. Light I'm novels are untranslated, so sure maybe there's something there, the but nothing in the guidebooks, which the I know thanks to a friend, as well as online translation tools. Secondly, it doesn't Seems contradict like the series. Some might point to some statements referring to the universe near the end of the first series, Robot. but this is actually quite like Dragon Ball, which is also by Toei. In Dragon Ball, Universe and, 7 is composed of and, multiple universe-sized realms, and, and yet some, when Goku and Beerus nearly destroyed all those realms, whatever. the old Kai Just referred like to them. one universe. Shooting Thus, like referring these to the Pretty Cure universe and, as just uh, the universe does not dismiss the fact that it consists of several universe-sized well, realms. Third, them being separate universes would explain the whole one day on the ground of light equals 100 years on Earth as they occupy different put them spaces into her chest. before Poron's presence equalized them anyway. So, Lastly, Fresh Pretty Cure supports this by introducing this, us to parallel and it was worlds. Like some little crystals Inside and one world, there are many worlds. The example shown is two mirrors facing each other and Love's reflection being reflected many times if not an unlimited amount, it was called which I'll talk cure, about later. Each I'm parallel sure. world would be in its own Some parallel call it universe, free as Earth is so parallel world I'm to these sure worlds, and it ain't the only thing in the universe. Those two this isn't to say that the Garden of Light is in a parallel universe, know, just that the idea of more universes is a thing in Pretty Cure, and that the website statement is not absurd. With all that said, back to speed. We don't know how far the universes that hold the Dark Zone or the Garden of Light are from our universe, nor where they are located in their respective universes. As a low ball, I will simply use the diameter of our universe. Our yeah. observable universe Eat is about 93 up. billion light years long. The feats were in seconds, so let's give 10 seconds even though it seemed to be less than that. That gives nearly 300 quadrillion times the speed of light. Again, that is low balling. Cures, even in base, are aware of the Dark King's attacks, and, as mentioned before, with just the regular rainbow bracelets, scale above Majin, who should be much faster than Dark King. Now, onto the power of Pretty Cure. Just how strong are they? During the final episodes of Futarwa, the Seeds of Darkness obtain the Prism Stones. Once they gain the power of the stones, the passive energy of the Seeds of Darkness is more than enough to destroy the Pretty Cure universe. So all three realms. Mm. I say more than enough, as the Queen of Light was going beyond her limit to try and stop this energy from destroying everything, and even she couldn't contain it all as the entire universe shook. This likely includes all the parallel universes from Fresh, as the All-Star movies reveal that the fairies know about each other, meaning that they know about the parallel worlds. This means Dark King would also know- Ah. I'm gonna leave it right there. I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna leave it right there. Um, and then, okay, so 1629, 1630. I'm gonna leave it right there. Um, yo, thank you for recommending this, man. I'm really, I'm really into it. Um, I'm actually gonna go on after this. I'm like, once I finish the full thing, both parts, I'm actually watch this. Um, get some little details of my own, learn their names and all that. I don't know how old this anime is, and I don't know if it's still going. 
Hopefully it is because I like those types of anime. You know, and the reason why I'm watching Detective Conan also start up on One Piece. You know, of course I'm doing some catch up with Naruto also. So, but see those mainstream and all that stuff and. Besides Detective Conan, I think it's mainstream over there in Japan, but not here in the United States. I never heard of Pretty Cure until today. So, and, yo, this shit, this shit, from what this dude's saying, bro, and what, what I watch, and hopefully that is the anime, bro, this shit, legit, bro, I like it, bro, I'm like dead ass, I like it, and even, even for this video, bro, I'm being dead ass honest, it might look corny or whatever, with the, you know, look like it was made for girls or whatever, but bro, I'm an anime um, type of guy, and, and, and in one of my videos, I did ask to recommend something new to me, and you came out of nowhere this morning and recommended something new to me. And, hey, I like it, bro. But anyways, bro, hopefully you and everybody else who come across this video enjoyed this first part, bro. And if you did, leave me a thumbs up. Also, leave me a sub down in, in the comment what you want me to react to next. And also, see you in the next video, which will be part two. Peace.